Hey y'all, this is Dylan. This is Dylan Eats Everything. Today, I'm gonna to take you behind the scenes at Lennox, a pop-up that's been serving incredible Afro-Latin soul food all over Seattle for the last year or so. We're about to go meet up with Johnny, the owner. He's gonna tell us a little bit about his culinary background and how he builds those incredible, vibrant flavors in some of his most popular dishes. Let's go. I'm Johnny. I'm with Lennox Afro Latin Soul Food. Um, here at Great Notion today, but we pop up all around the city in Seattle. The chicken sandwich craze started happening. And McDonald's, they all started doing this chicken sandwich thing, and I was like, you know what? I can do this shit. It's not that bad. Kind of that karage fried chicken, so you like have that long lasting um, crunch. Fresh chimney cherry sauce, um, pickled red onion. We do these in house. Gold bread and butter pickles. We also do these in-house. And these are my favorite. Yes. Just a little bit of salt. We make our own adobo spice, uh, garlic powder, oregano, fresh black pepper. Um, and then I, 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 put, I put a couple liberties in there myself as well. There's some chilies in there that I like to use. So this is definitely a staple for us. And we love this sandwich, but like, it's one of my favorites. I've been cooking for 15 years now, and I got started a long, long time ago in South Seattle working at a little Italian restaurant washing dishes called Pizzuto's. And they just did, you know, your classic mom and pop Italian food. And uh, I got to wash dishes and see a lot of fire, and I was like, I can, I want to do that. And I worked at Luke with Thierry Rotero, Chef in the Hat, and that was like the big deal restaurant that like sent me, you know, off into having fun. and. Um, really, really diving into cooking. I had a smoker and I started this whole thing being like, I want to do Cuban flavors like on a smoker and do it barbecue style. Um, so I kind of had to figure out how I could do it uh, my way. So that's why I like when we make a Cuban sandwich, we use 12 hour smoked pork shoulder instead of, you know, just a roasted pork, just because it adds more flavor and then that's kind of like this new flair that I kind of wanted to add to these things. There you have it. Much on the side. So this is, this is a fun one. This is like the collaboration of me being Afro-Latino and from Seattle. So you have your Pacific Northwest Jojo's with adobo spice, and then Cuban picadillo loaded with white cheddar sauce, uh, cotija, um, and it's true Cuban picadillo too. So there's Spanish olives in here, yellow raisins for sweetness, lots and lots of chili spice, harissa in there. This is, this is the dirty dog right here. If you're like trying to warm your belly and, and have some fun with some friends, drink a few crispy beers, this is definitely the side for you, for sure. Play out. All right, I'm gonna try these JoJo's. Really crispy. Mm. Like, cooking food that's fun and good and makes you feel good. Um, it's just what I enjoy doing most. Like, when I make a chicken sandwich and I see somebody eat it and it like goes everywhere and they're like, yeah, so I'm like that's the, that's the vibe that I wanna go for. I feel like that's more of the like Afro-Caribbean, bring your family, friends, come through, chill. Um, yeah. 